Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 8 which is all about periodic law. This will be the second quarter topic week 5 and day 3 and this lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to explain the Mendeleev Periodic Law and how it relates to the periodic arrangement of elements. The second one is to work collaboratively in small groups to arrange sets of elements based on their atomic masses and identify the trends in their physical properties. The third one is critically evaluate the merits and limitation of Mendeleev's periodic law and how it lead to further advancement in the classification of elements. For the explicitation, the teacher may start the class by asking them to describe the periodicity of days. The following questions may be used. First is what comes after the day? What comes after the night? And for the second question, is this arrangement regular and repeated? And for the third question, is the transition of days consistent? And for the fourth question, what causes this pattern? Dimitri Mendeleev and Lothar Mayer individually came up with their own periodic law. So Mendeleev found that the per properties of elements were related to the atomic mass in a periodic way. He observed that elements were arranged in the increasing order of atomic mass and there was the periodic occurrence of elements with similar properties. According to this observation, he formulated a periodic law which states that the properties of the elements are the periodic function of their atomic masses. In the Mendeleev periodic table, vertical columns in the periodic tables and horizontal row in the periodic tables were named as groups and periods respectively. For Mendeleev's group 1, the melting points were studied. When it comes to the atomic mass, lithium has 6.94, and for the sodium, 22.99, potassium has 39.10, rubinium has 85.47, and cesium has 132.91. And when it comes to the melting points, lithium has 174 degrees Celsius, sodium 96. 7.8 degrees Celsius and for potassium 63.7 degrees Celsius, rubinium 38.9 degrees Celsius and cesium 28.5 degrees Celsius. For if this is arranged based on the increasing atomic mass, it would be the highest one is the cesium followed by rubinium, potassium, sodium and lithium. And when it comes to the melting points, the highest one is the lithium, sodium, potassium, rubinium, and the last one is the cesium. Therefore, there is a trend existing between the elements in a group. In this example, it can be said that the melting points decrease as the atomic mass increases. For the lesson activity, the students will accomplish the activity number 3. And for the instructions, ask the students to arrange the following sets of elements based on their atomic masses. Then ask them to create a statement explaining the trend observed. After the activity, discuss the merits and demerits of the Mendeleev periodic table. When it comes to the merits, some gaps were left for the elements yet to be discovered. Thus, 
if a certain new element is discovered, it can be placed in a new group without disturbing any existing group. And for the demerits, first is he was unable to locate hydrogen in the periodic table. The second one is to increase in atomic mass was not regular while moving from one element to another. Hence, the number of elements yet to be discovered was not predictable. The third one is later isotopes of elements were found which violated the Mendeley periodic table. Thank you for watching so don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.